All right, y'all. Welcome back to the Whole Phase Podcast, a millennial dating experiment. As you guys know, we are powered by Sirens NYC, baby. Yes, and we're coming out of Queens Flip Studios. As y'all already ready, you know, it's your <laughs> favorite co-ho. Everybody loves Becky. Ew, your friendly neighborhood sex symbol. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I was really trying to get that out good, but yeah, it's all right. We starting early. We <laughs> starting early. All right, okay. what up? Okay. And as you guys know, it's your actual fave, repping for the thick girls all over the world, <laughs> MJ. <laughs> Ew. See, I'm not a hater. See, I can celebrate other women, okay? That's how you do it. Big sis wow. kings, okay? <laughs> nah, and we have, you know, our brother in the You middle. already know. You already know. It's your boy in the building. I'll be representing Punchline Punch. <laughs> You can find me at Punchline Punch Drinks on Instagram. Today we sipping that apple loose. Yes, we getting a little loose today, all right? Yes. The apple we loose. already started sipping, so you know. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I'm always the one that's affected first, you know what I mean? With the because you're skinny. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm repping, I'm repping for the slim girls worldwide where you know cheap dates okay <laughs> shout out to that wow yes. but you know what i'm fine not being a cheap date because i need food and drinks <laughs> and you. dessert okay you need respect a meal me. entree all that stuff i respect it um but yeah how, how y'all been though you know i feel like we haven't recorded since yeah, it's been before a, since valentine's, valentine's day. day so i want to know how y'all how was everybody's valentine's day it was nice yeah, you had actual Valentine's. <laughs> You're the only one with the actual Valentine's, so it's really it was for you. nice. <laughs> it was it was very good. Uh, I enjoyed myself. It was very relaxed, and How I, relaxed? I was in the clouds the entire time. Ooh, that Ooh, sounds okay. fun. So, what did you end up doing? Um, well, um, I do I do music with uh, these guys on my team, PMC. Shouts to them, and one Shout of them, out to PMC. One of them, Mike Jack. It was his birthday and my cameraman's birthday oh. the same day. So um, after we just stayed in the Airbnb, we went to go check them for a little bit and got drunker. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, that we went back. Fun. It wasn't. It wasn't like we went a lot of places. Like we went to dinner on um, on Valentine's Day, Cute. and then after the fact, like it was just. You just in each other's space. That's good Aww. though. It's about quality time. Yeah, like you fun. gotta take a little break from the world, mm-hmm. and you gotta be with your boo. Like that's all we yeah. really be wanting from y'all. Thanks. You know, I feel like a real woman. She just wants you to think about her, spend some time with her. You know, all that good stuff. And the dick, you know. Mm-hmm. And the dick. Wait, RB. So did you eat ass? Because I remember I was texting you. RB was talking talking about yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be OT oh, wow. for the weekend. I was like, eat that ass. <laughs> Eat that ass, nigga. Right. Eat, yeah, that ass. Like, eat, eat that ass. Eat that She said, eat that ass. MJ said, you better eat that ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it didn't It didn't get there. And it wasn't like I wasn't trying to, like, you know what I mean? Get it there? Get it there. It was just like. <laughs> it just didn't happen like yeah, that. Yeah. We was just too smacked. And we was just focused <laughs> on just, yo, it need to go down. Like, because, like, we, we be past <laughs> that point of being drunk. We was just like. Nah, Let's clothes gotta the come. Shit out of each other. Clothes gotta come off. Fuck, lights don't even have to turn <laughs> off. Like, you know cool, what I mean? Okay. <laughs> You're like, ain't no time for no four four play. Like, this nah, ain't Valentine's Day. This nah. ain't our first Valentine's Day where nah. you're just like, ooh, babe. You're like, bitch, head down, toot that ass up. straight to business. That's a fact. We skipped all of that shit. That sounds fun though. But you know what I mean? I'm open. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, to eat an ass. I'm like, open to what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's coming. I know it's coming. Definitely. I'm open to, to possibly exploring that room. It's not bad. Awesome. Yeah, it's not bad on the receiving end. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. Yeah. That's, that's the exact position I would be in. <laughs> thanks, thanks. How was um, your Valentine's Day, Becky? Mine? Okay, mine was actually pretty cool. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like I've actually just been enjoying like my own self my own energy like i feel like i've kind of been like a little hermit like but Mm -hmm. i like it like in like the best way um yeah it was cool it felt like any regular day like i didn't really feel like a hater i felt like i had to post hating (laughs) memes on the whole phase though just because it's fucking hilarious yeah you know (laughs) we gotta have both sides of it exactly (laughs) but yeah no i felt really good we ended up hanging out with friends like it was mm. just chill it was more like a gal I, you know i celebrated galentine's with the girls and all that good stuff mm-hmm. yeah how was your them day 
I mean, it was the same as yours, but no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it was more, you know, focused on self care during the day and then the nighttime. I feel like we started watching Hairspray. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. But that was really fun. We like, just started, like, watching a bunch of We were musicals. doing a dancing sing-along. Like, we were doing a lot. No, like, <laughs> seriously. I felt like I was in the motherfucking 50s. But that's not saying. I felt like we were really doing things that really make us happy. Like, mm-hmm. there's nothing that makes me more happy than, like, musicals and dancing in my living room. Like, I'm six with my mm-hmm. sister. Like, and just, shit like, literally that. just having fun. And then our mom showed up, like, at 10 o'clock at night with just chocolates and stuff. And I was Mad like, candy. I almost cried. I'm like, all right. Mm-hmm. I wasn't expecting this because she didn't do it last year. You're like, she, <laughs> she kind of stopped. Us. <laughs> she stopped last year. So when they came, I was like, oh, my God. Like, I didn't want it, but, like, I needed it. Yeah. <laughs> Aww, that was cute. Uh. Nah, I dad brought mine to work the next day, and, like, this lady, my dad was like, did your honey get that for you? I was like, my mom did. That's your honey. <laughs> she Fuck was like, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it was cute, though. I, that, it definitely made my night. Yeah, it was cool. I'm really not, like, a hater or mad or anything. Cause... Yeah, like, that's really cute. Uh, like, I saw a lot of that shit, though. I mean, like I, didn't see, I didn't see that much, but I definitely saw, you know, the 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 people who who were hating because I was surrounded by you know what I mean you know students teachers a whole bunch of just love mm-hmm. during, throughout the whole day so my I ain't really, boards and shit I ain't really <laughs> I ain't really get to the bullshit until like I after I got off of work and I'm starting to see on Instagram ah da 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 da, da nobody want to see your relationship <laughs> <laughs> that's not nice oh, that's that some hate so that bitter shit. that sounds um, so bad I'm weak at this shit or that. like the one people where just keep like, calling I'm y'all gonna answer, y'all gonna find out that you're the side chick on Valentine's Day when he don't hit you oh I seen a, I seen a lot of those yeah, that was, yeah. <laughs> yeah especially like if he was trying to hang out with you the next day like come on like it's because you're the side chick yeah. like, nah no funny is I had, it though I had a girl text one of my homies text me talking about sorry girl I wasn't free you know it was side chick day you know I wasn't I wasn't free on Friday I was like <laughs> sister that was sister who that was so, I mean, she I accepts her position, day. though. So, you know. February 15th, no, no shaking. <laughs> across the globe, is National, National Side, side chick, chick Day. day. Yo, yeah. I'm not, I don't care if I am the Side Chick. I'm not going to celebrate it. The but fact. is it, though? I've spent I've spent a, a whole <laughs> Valentine's Day With the Side Chick? With my moms before. And then didn't do anything oh. until, like, you know what I mean, the next day or the weekend. Like, nah, now I'm, I'm spending like, Valentine's Day with my yeah. mom. A nigga did I mean, that to me one year. No, no. Was that your nigga, though, MJ? It wasn't my nigga, but I'm saying, like, he was talking about he wanted to hang out the next day because he was going to hang out with his mom and his sister. I was like, what? Like, what do you... They need <laughs> Valentine's? You, you like, mean your sis? Or no, your it sister? was his sister. My but mom I guess, I guess and she my didn't sister. have one in and mom didn't have one, so he was it. I'm just like... <laughs> he was the man of the house. Uh, I mean, I guess. That's I understand cute. that. I've taken my mom to BBQs on Valentine's Day before. Oh, that is me feel cute. bad. Like, like, don't be thinking uh, niggas out here <laughs> not really being uh, they mom's Valentine's. Like. Uh, and niggas, uh, don't dude. be out here giving that excuse just because you know real niggas is out here being they mom's Valentine's. Like, that is really sweet. Nah, you yeah, know, I think I, I would understand. I would understand. Because I'm coming with. Fuck out of here. We all gonna do it everybody, together. Everybody, yo, once February 1st hit, everybody start getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it do, it do. I think people do. Just I like, post? Do I not post? Do I disappear? Do I keep texting? Should I claim mm-hmm. this nigga? Or should I just ghost him? Because dang, and then just automatically. What about Valentine? like posting them on Instagram too? Like that's a lot of pressure too. I'm not into that. Do I, I just I'm say kidding. good morning or do I say yeah, good I can. morning? Yeah, I can. I feel like I'm gonna lose all my followers if I post a nigga no, on my I'm page. I'm gonna post yeah. once I get what? you know proposed to. Then then you can mm. get posted. I'm about nigga. to say like if that's my nigga, nigga, then yeah, I'm posting you. Like if I don't care that anybody else knows, then like all right, cool. But like if we talking like that, but you know I still got shit else going on. Like I ain't posting <laughs> you because yeah. it's just gonna fuck it up. It's like, messy. You are just gonna you know? like mess up your shit. Yeah, like, nah, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. I got hot stories. You know that. Yeah, yeah you work, definitely though. can. I feel like do, yeah, when that's, you go that's out of your way, way to do much. that, it's now you're sneaking. Can. Like exactly. that's you're not being much. transparent. You're kind of being this. you kind of just doing the most. Niggas do that that's shit that's every, that's every day. day. Yeah, but we don't gotta <laughs> stoop to their level because that's yeah. how we that's end true. up. We end up getting into shit that we had no business getting into just because we're trying to be a nigga. Girls are always, always been more sneaker than guys. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. We do it better. Yeah. Um. Can I? We're better in general. Because I had some <laughs> shit to say. That that's a very that's a very uh mm. strong and bold statement. What? Yesterday. 
<laughs> this little bold hood rat gonna take oh, my oh, weed. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's <laughs> let's rewind back. Listen, wait, where was where was this? Is this Who is this? This is all right. So I got dragged. I got dragged into participating in a a trap party. A and trap party. What the yeah. fuck, the fuck is, is that? A trap party. Like, what it's is that? basically a party at a crib at with no furniture. You mean a trap house? Oh, oh. Like, a crib. A, like, like a college party. A college party. No, like this was in the project. <laughs> oh. Okay. He said, he said, oh, all the furniture oh. was in like the back bedroom. No, there and was, was nah, there was no all. furniture was in the entire at all. apartment, so except for house. the bedroom. There was one bed in the bedroom. Oh, was it on so the floor? No, it, it was. You know, okay. It had a. <laughs> oh, at least, at least it frame. wasn't on the floor. <laughs> at least that's good. Okay, wait. So they hired you to to vent and one there? table like, in the fuck? kitchen. Like, what are you? What were you there? I'm for? so confused. Uh, what was the proposal? Like? Okay, so uh, my cousin was in the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, he was coming from you know across the East Staten Island. So I'm just like, you know what. I'll, I'll I'll fuck with you. You know what I mean. And you whipped up some drinks. Mm. No, nah, I, okay, I just I just I just went. You just, just you know what I mean. You know. So it's one of those time, situations chill. you didn't know where you were getting dragged into. Not exactly. Mm. You know what I mean. So little shorty gonna come up to me like, yo, you know what you should let me do? You should let me roll that next one. Lay what? Like for what? Okay, forceful. No. Do I know? Because you, because you, you look nice and I'm nice too. I'm just like, oh, listen. What? I got. I mean, was, like, yeah. I mean, that, that was work? a very bold we thought line. I, I like mean, it. in I some mean, instances, work? I feel like it could work. You gotta test it out now. <laughs> like, it depends how cute you are. Like, ooh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you've you. been like kind of flirting the whole night and then you about to go roll up, you'd be like, oh, let me roll the next one. Like, I feel like if I slip that in there, you're not gonna be mad. I feel like. She <laughs> she seen me and my people's rolling, and, and she wanted some weed. You know, you know, you know when but people like do that. Works, though? You know like when she's people probably done that shit before. Yeah, exactly. so it's actually, it's so she yes. works. You know when people do sure that inch, inch over. They hover. Next thing you know, they start laughing at your jokes and, <laughs> and they, shit. They <laughs> in the all of a sudden they in them. the scythe. That be yo. That, <laughs> they wait around until so niggas get high enough. Like wait, you in the scythe? Yeah. Yeah, they just be like, hold on, wait, you ain't smoke yet. Why nah, you ain't smoke? Like you in the whole you know, conversation? She's like, yo, my shits be hitting. Trust me, da 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 da. I'm just like, I'm not. Okay. I'm not exactly. denying that. I'm, right. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean? We good, whatever. Sis. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Right. She she stick around. I let her. I'd rather roll it. you have just asked to just Yeah, yeah. just yeah. Get, just fall in line, sis. Yeah, fall in the circle. Like, just... <laughs> she crazy. Does she, it get worse? She rolls it and I can't find her. Oh no! Oh. And this, that, and this, wait, is, but and this, there's no furniture in the place, so you're in a square. But How it, you it, can't it's, find it's her? It's a good amount of people. Oh. So this, this is, and this, I've seen, I've seen this happen before. I've been, you oh, know, a part. Doop, doop, I've been a part of this, uh, this <laughs> sequence of events on the receiving end, where you know. One of my homegirls will be in the party. Next thing you know, she just come back with weed. <laughs> okay, so. She <laughs> oh, in the she back of the party sharing my whole blunt with a group of niggas. Oh, oh. not even women. They sent her over there wow. to do that. What type of wack ass? I'm, I'm like, yo. Uh-uh. I, I tell her, yo, come in real quick. <laughs> Sis. I'm like, come in real quick. <laughs> And she and as she's coming to me, she's she dic- she's dictating where the blunt's gonna go. So hey, yeah, um, it go to him next. I'm like, wait, her first of all, you know this is mine, right? <laughs> what are you psycho. doing? Oh really oh, no. Yo, that is crazy. That's old. And then to and the then I the d- yeah. and then I seen her go back over to her niggas and you know basically shrug her shoulders. I'm just like, yeah, you better shrug your fucking shoulders. First of all, wait, did she give it back to you? Yeah, she gave. Okay. She had she to didn't give it really back have to me. She, yeah. okay. You not going? Nah, no. You no, just debo no, somebody's house. No. And yeah. then if the uh, niggas really would have sat there and kept smoking after you like pointed it out like that, that they would have just look bitch made too. Okay. Yeah, but that's like right. you don't have your own. <laughs> but I mean, but, for real, like. 
Niggas be out here getting finesse like that every day. I was just one to, you know what I mean, be an eagle eye and not let that shit happen to me. Wait, you but not... did you invite her back to the, the side? No, I did not. Oh. No, I did not. No, no, she, no, she's I not I told my cousin and all his friends he was with, I'm just like, she cannot smoke with us no more. <laughs> <laughs> she can't sit with us, okay? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's, 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 that's yes. what she gets that's that's for being a whack bitch. Like, See, she was trying that, to do the okay, most. She shouldn't okay. have stole now, from him. Now, that's now, a fact, though. Now, fact. to bring it in around full circle, what are the, you know what I mean? Because I, I, I'm pretty sure if you guys haven't done that, you've all been a part of a circle who has, who has done that. Once or oh, twice. I've never, I've never time. taken it. Yeah, I've invited my friends. It, yeah. I, I've, 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 I've been the whole thing. Yeah. You've, never, this you've me. never been the thief. No, no I've, I've never stolen it. I've been the thief. I made no, my I've way never into been it the thief and then I Because it. niggas just give me the blood yes. after a while. They're I'm just yeah. like, here, yeah. just take it. I'll I'll because be, I have more in my pocket. Exactly. Yeah, and that's why I let her roll it because, like, I still got more. No, but that's rolling. There's a difference. Yes. Like, she's a rolled it. When I get it, the split is already But I don't understand. And then they just, like, just hold that away. Hold that down. How did you let her get away if she was <laughs> rolling it? And like you can't just no, she walking and rolling, like, like I'm confused. Like, All right, well, he this... probably didn't expect this... her to and run away. Like, no, this... Right, but that's what I'm saying. Like you sitting there, you watching right, someone so roll it. You saw her. There's a lot of side shit. There's a lot of side side shit that's happening. You know what I mean? Niggas is arguing, niggas is going in and out the door. It's a trap party, guys. Niggas can't I mean, that's the extra reason to keep eye on people. And I'm guessing she's seen that as an opportunity oh this is a diversion let me go in the back (laughs) you ever seen that that Homer Simpson meme where he go back in the the bush (laughs) but in the bush is like six other niggas facts yo (laughs) wow I'm glad you got your shit back I'm glad I'm glad you don't ever come for my nigga like that again because now he gotta stick us on you like (laughs) now you're gonna get jumped imagine if we was there we have to go I don't want I don't want I don't want I'm with the static I don't want women to think that so. That it's not okay to, you know what I mean, come in and, and join the scythe. Yeah, you could join the scythe, but like... You don't take the blunt and walk away. She took it and made her own scythe. Yes, scythe. you don't like, take the blunt and walk away. You at least let me... stay inside the scythe that you're in. First you don't of all, take the blunt and walk away. She didn't even invite you to the scythe. If yeah. it was all females in that cipher, I would have been okay with it. You could have just made a mess. Semi medicine. okay with it. Semi okay with it. You could have just been like, yo, why you don't just smoke with yeah, us? Yeah, come smoke with us. Yeah. What y'all doing? It's mad niggas. Mad like, niggas. Nah, you wallet. Nah, you wallet. Nah, I just bad. see hoodies and do rags. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, hoodies. Get the hell away from Yo, my blood. That is Thank hilarious. Yo, that's like I'm glad you got it back, though. Yeah, I'm glad I'm, you got it back. Bad. See, Fuck I've, that bitch. I've only done shit like that like in a club with drinks. Mm. And like yes, do, take the drinks and give yeah, it to your like friends. Leave and, and leave. Do with my yeah, friends. Yeah, like, yeah. yo, if a dude's talking to me, I'd be like, yo, like, let me get da 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 da. And he'd be like, all right. And I just start passing shit to my friends. Yo. Yeah, 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 I do that. Because I, do that. I don't I want him to think that I'm interested. So mm-hmm. I'd rather <laughs> or pass you at the to table. You like, you're buying me shit. You got to take care of my friends too. Or, like, I definitely ghosted a dude. Like, a dude has bought me, like, offered to buy me a drink at the bar. And then I just walked away. After yeah. he brought I, me a drink. My <laughs> uncle told me this very young. You never buy a girl drinks at the bar. You Fuck take a here. girl out for drinks. Mm. No. I want the Well, what if you meet somebody the in the club? Well, yeah. Like, and you want to offer to buy her We can talk drink. in the club. We can talk in the club. And then we go out for drinks if we And then we go out for drinks if, if I, we uh, So you've never bought, like, any nope. party you've never no, bought? No, 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 no. You can take a sip. Nope. Ew. Take so you sip. never, like, went to the bar and came back and be like, oh, you Ew. want something and went to the bar no, and, like, came back? Why I have not. Wow. Yeah, not germ. Just like, I don't know. I wouldn't trust That's a fact, yeah, though. I'm, like, I'm with you on the germ shit. Yes. But- I mean, I mean, you know, if young, I wild, know and free. You. This is early 20s I'm talking about here. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know. but if I don't know you, I'm not taking, I'm not sipping on your yeah. actual drink from your cup. Right. Like, yeah, that's unless that's I got true. a straw. Yeah, nah. yeah. Like, you Somebody, can swing a straw. Right, like, I'm you know, winning, people be in a, like, do niggas be in a cup with a bottle trying ass. to give you the shots? I'm, I'm like, trying. I'll take a cup, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know who's just been on that bottle. I don't know. Yeah, but I've, I've, I can't, I can't remember any time I bought someone a drink. I, re- I I get that. If I, I wasn't that. if I wasn't originally with them before, but it's appreciated. Or going I feel like into it's, the it kind of goes with the whole finessing thing. 
like you might feel like you might get finessed. I get that part. I used to get girls off of dancing. That's what I, mm. you know what I mean? Because once Chris they Brown. felt that little heart on, wicked, they're like, ooh. The wicked waistline, not a drink. I'm weird. <laughs> All right. Well, think, thinking, talking about, um, speaking of finessing and all that good stuff, I feel like this is all the shit I used to do. Used to do, bitch. What are you talking about? This is all the <laughs> shit I, d- I, I've done while I'm single and mingling in my whole phase. I feel like this is what the shit you do. You go to the niggas who's smoking in the party, hang around, pass mm-hmm. it to your friends, all this shit. But this episode, we wanted to talk about, like, singleness and actually, like, celebrating it. I feel like little things like that is one, like, my favorite part about being single. Like, going out, mm-hmm. you never know what's going to happen. The adventures. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Adventures. Antics. Facts. The facts. Antics. So much fun. So many antics. So many. <laughs> um, but I want, I'm going to get into my TMI for the week. Because I feel like, speaking of singleness, a lot of the times it's looked down upon to be single. It's like, oh, like, you're lonely, you're desperate, you need somebody, like, all this stuff. But Especially now with, it's, like, the state of, like, how society is. Like, absolutely. everybody's into being in relationships and love. And, and posting and about it on social media. And yeah. Looking yeah. happy on yeah. Instagram. Exactly. Mm. But I wanted to do a little bit of information on... Being alone versus being lonely. Because I feel like a lot of times people mix that up. I feel like Mm. single, you're alone. I actually looked up some definitions, you know, Merriam-Webster, okay? So alone just (laughs) means to be on one's own. Just to be, you know, by yourself. You cool. But to be lonely, it means to be sad from being alone. Like, if you can't be by yourself and be happy and do everything you want to do and fulfill yourself, then that's not it. Like, you're going to have to still figure that out while you're single. You can't expect to get in a relationship and that's going to cure you of your loneliness. Like, yeah. no, you're going to have to figure out what's going on with you. Like, me, I have so much fun by myself. Putting on my favorite incense, you know, reading books, putting on my favorite songs. Like, when you're what? single, you really could do whatever the fuck mm-hmm. you want to do. There's nobody else there whatever. trying to watch whatever show thing. you want to watch. Like, like you don't have to check in with nobody. Like, I feel like it's a lot of and things work. that you can do alone. You <laughs> know what work. I mean? And not be that lonely. Too. I literally was just going through this maybe like two days ago. My ex-boyfriend is consistently trying to get back together. And I'm just like, <laughs> yo, like, I just want to be by myself right yes. now. Like, I got to figure out my life. Yes. Like, can I just live for like two seconds? And Seriously. maybe just a little too yeah. much. So, yeah, like, I've had to, men tell, do I've had that to tell the girl to be by herself for a little while. <laughs> Damn, you need to be you alone. To tell her because Dang. she was she she was just not some people are like serial relationship people. Yeah, you know, like, you have like to whatever that means. Somebody that they need to be have by you have, themselves. Have you ever heard the term? Yeah. Have crazy. you ever heard the term a woman who asks for nothing to get everything, a woman who asks for everything and get you nothing? Know? Yeah, it was like that that times a thousand because mm-hmm. it's just like yo, you're comparing you're comparing small relationship shit mm-hmm. to the shit that I don't do. Or oh, you're comparing, you know, this person's relationship to our relationship and how it's different. Like, I'm a different nigga. I don't fucking operate like this yeah. nigga. You know what I mean? She so, should just probably try grew. to see who you are as a person. You grew as a person. Yeah. So and things are going to be the same. And, it's not, and like, it seems like in that situation, she was more into the relationship than the person she was in the relationship with. Mm. Yeah. And I think that's, that's that was that was a That was a strong you. thing, too, because I'm like, yo, you're using all of this shit like it's the... Guinness World Book of like relationships, <laughs> and I'm just like, yo, just you're just a human. <laughs> you're like, I'm get the just fuck happy. off, get yeah. the fuck off of Instagram, get the fuck off of Pinterest. <laughs> like, oh just figure out what I like. Figure yeah. out what Pinterest you like. What you. do you like, bitch? Like, do you really like this wow. shit, or yeah. is this you just On want those? Pinterest you know those flowers. You just want those flowers instead of just looking of at your relationship. Yo, don't be getting in relationships for likes. Other like, yo, what do you like? What do you don't yo, like? Yeah. Communication facts. is the biggest issue now. I feel like with everybody, everybody, nobody knows how to communicate. Nobody knows how to talk shit out. Like that's the biggest. That, and I feel like that shit is stupid as yeah. hell because we got mm-hmm. social media to communicate. Yeah. So and I, how are we back? <laughs> Yeah. I agree, and I feel like that is a problem that people need to deal with in their singleness. Like, you need to know <laughs> mm-hmm. what you like so that when someone does ask you, you can answer that question. If you can't even answer that question, how are you going to get in a relationship and figure out, you know, how you guys can actually work together? Right. Your singleness is your time while you're on your own and being alone and enjoying your space, figuring out what you like, what you don't like, 
what is your trigger? You know, what's, what songs mm. can you put on that makes you happy so that your boo, you can let him know, <laughs> like, yo, if, you, if I catch an attitude, just play that uh, uh, Miguel. Right. Then, you know, y'all have, yeah. y'all have mm-hmm. tips and tools that y'all can use to make a really nurturing relationship. But that yeah. takes place while you're single. Okay. I was just talking to, telling Brita of a day because I was telling her about this dude that was, like, trying to holler at me, and I was just like, the way I am is like, this is me and my circle, and I like dancing around my circle by myself. And if I decide to let you in my circle, then that's on me. Like, don't try to force your way, like, in the yeah. circle. And you know what I mean? But I've learned that about it. myself. Like, <laughs> like I know how I am. I know the things I like, what I don't like, what I, you know, how I, like, you can ask me, like, you can see my emotions, like, on my face. Yeah, mm-hmm. Like, everybody's not like face. that. You know what I <laughs> mean? But I know that about myself. Like, so, you know, so some people who know, like, if you're going to be with me, like, and you're around me, you're my friend, you know, like, when I say, like, I'm good. I might not be good because my look on my face mm. is telling you, like, nah, something's going on. Oh God, or, like, I'm quiet, but, like, I might be peeping something and my eyebrows mm. tell me, like, that person ain't good. You know what I'm saying? Or, <laughs> like, um, you know what I mean? So I've learned yeah. that, like, about myself. And so I know, like, next person who comes around is, like, you. if you can't get with that, then it's, like, all right, cool. I'm cool in my circle. Yeah. Like, you don't got to be here. I'm having yourself. my own party. Yeah, like, you're confident You're confident. Yourself. You're, like, well, this yo, is me. Yo, and it's not, like, well, maybe. Let me try it out. you confident in your own circle by yourself. So mad. Why you don't miss me? (laughs) That's how they act. That's how they act. Why you don't miss me? Why you act like you can live without me? Because I can, motherfucker. You're not Uh -uh. food. Like, you're not oxygen. Like, I don't water. Like, I don't need you. you. And it's like, I guess the other thing I think is, too, is I feel like people don't, or not don't, but I feel like certain people, some people, like, glorify the relationship more than what it was. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I've just, you, you ever, like, talk to dudes, and it's like, it might have been something, like, we texted a lot, a lot or here and there or whatever, whatever, but, like, guys take it, think it as, like, we're talking. Like, uh-huh. no, now they we could texted tell people, all the time. We that's cool. Talk. Like, we, we never didn't talk. talk. Like, we didn't hang out. We didn't we do texted, stuff. Like, we like, texted we a lot. Things. That's all it is. So if I try to mm-hmm. get at your mans, like, it shouldn't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, like, hold on. Or it's wait, like, wait, like, wait, like, I mean, that's extreme, but you know what I mean? It's like, like, I try to get at your man. I understand what she's talking about. Right. Yeah. I get like, it. I feel you, bro. But damn, I know that was extreme. But you, you see what I'm, you get what I'm saying. It's like, to me. Yeah, you what? Cool. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't extreme. All if y'all didn't fuck, fair and love if y'all didn't more. fuck, y'all didn't kiss, y'all didn't even touch. It's all fair. Yo, I've dead, I've dead used that same excuse to to get with a friend. And you know what? If I could use it, then you know what I mean. If a man could use it, then so it. so can a woman. I've had that. to step oh, out of myself a lot of that time. <laughs> but, you know what I mean with things like body count. You know, same Do sexual really experiences. Do we really care about body count no, in 2019? No, 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 niggas, no. niggas, niggas I feel will like always, niggas will always like care about body count. count. That's I feel niggas like will always care about, care about body count. But why? We just don't, it's like it's like the unspoken things. You know how like. We know our girl is a freak, but you know what I mean. You, you don't want to know how. You want to know how she way. how she became a freak. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, like, how you think she sucked dick so good? How do you? But why do you dicks? care? My thing <laughs> about it is this. Dicks. Exactly. I didn't ask no you nigga about wants how to you know that she sucked now. twenty. But see, but I, that's the thing though is that like if you ask, then you open yourself up to that. But if you don't ask, then you don't. No, but that's what she's saying. Why do niggas still ask anymore? Why do you care? Like, why, do we like care? why does it matter? It's, it's, like, if you don't want to know, don't know. I feel know. like it's like, the, it's like an it's immature a, part of you that wants to be like... It's the nigga thing. Or like the know, egotistical the last, part you. know, of you. in middle school was the last time I asked somebody about their body count, right? Mm, wow. Middle school. I don't... Because I, I don't care about that. That's your business. Who, there was you body put your counts dick? in middle school? Is, I, I, oh, I, yo. What? I, I know people giving, who got body yo, counts Niggas was giving up at 14. I was literally watching people give it up at 14. I didn't lose my virginity until 18. But Listen, yeah. man. Niggas, nah, niggas you definitely saw that. Fuck, mm-hmm. I, I've definitely seen it. Definitely, mm-hmm. definitely seen it. I had a friend in middle school tell me she had to take a pregnancy test because she was giving back shots. And I had no what? idea what she was talking about. You were like, back shots. <laughs> I was like, like what, is what the fuck do you mean? A pregnancy test? <laughs> what? what? I what couldn't even equate the two. Now I know. But like, I was like 13. And she was like, yeah, I'd take a pregnancy test because I was like, I was like, what do you mean? What happened? She was like, I was doing back shots. And I was like, what? what? Did, she, <laughs> did she think that she would not get pregnant if she did back shots? Well, was it more no, like I'm a saying- missionary, like, Oh, no, but she was, I don't know. I guess she just meant to say, it like, she to had, her that she, that was the only way to get pregnant no, was I back mean, shots. <laughs> no, I guess she, yeah, was, she I was did just, back shots. I guess she was just saying that, you know, sh- that's what she was doing while she yeah, was Yeah, I'd be fucking. Like, I was yeah, doing like, back shots. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? 
you know, show you off a little trying bit. to show right, off. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Meanwhile, gases. I had yeah. like gases. I was doing, you know, back shots. My my arch was mad arched. I had no idea what arch was mad arched. Had no idea what she was talking about. I just knew I was like, okay, I guess she had sex and she needed the pregnancy test. I guess that's sex. Okay, y'all. So I just realized. I didn't even get into holistic. Okay, let's get <laughs> into it. We can keep talking our shit. Yes, we can keep after, talking. After this. So since this is a single episode, I've noticed that like in the past, I have equated my like, you know, self-esteem and like mental health with the way that men treat me or like have felt about me before, mm-hmm. which I know was unhealthy and I'm working on it. That's why I'm single. So I'm going to just tell the story before the holistic. So we went to this party. Like last week. Okay. And I had seen my crush walk in with a girl I know. Uh. And I was just like, okay. But mind you, this is, it's not the first time. Like I was cool when it was three bitches I knew. <laughs> but wow. I'm like, okay, now there's a, another fourth bitch that I know that you fucked. And I'm just like, you don't know okay. that they fucked. I don't know that they fucked. Okay, I don't know that they fucked. They, they fucked. fucked. <laughs> <laughs> they fucked. Do Let's you, be realistic. They fucked. They fucked. So yeah, like y'all so. Y'all all got that thing that just. Mm-hmm. Are we lying though? Yeah. We're not lying. Are like, we lying? Come on, like that's all I want to know. Is never, it a lie? Never seen those people together in my life, and then y'all come in the party together. Yeah, come like, on, y'all fucking. It's Stop. really. It was really interesting. Stop. So yeah, so like <laughs> it, I was just like tossing and turning that whole night mm. and like just like just all in a spiral in my head like mm-hmm. just like thinking like oh what does she have that I don't have just like a whole bunch of unhealthy shit. So then the next morning I woke up and I just started purging my room of like just mad shit. Like I was on my Marie Kondo shit, mm-hmm. tidying the fuck up. I was like, I, 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 need to, yes, I, was like, I need to get all that negative energy out, out of out. my fucking fuck. space right mm-hmm. the fuck now. So that's the holistic tip for y'all this week. Purge all that negativity mm-hmm. out of your fucking life. Because like all that shit that's in your room, all the clothes you don't fucking wear, all the shit you don't need, throw that shit out. Say thank you. Throw that shit in the garbage because that it clears a lot of mental space and I'm like in a way better mental space than I was when I woke up that day so I feel way more better oh I'm glad shout out to you shout out to you I I can definitely oh sorry to cut you off I can add to that because I know um I've never really like felt the need to like block people or like delete numbers or whatever but after a while like (laughs) I went through a brat shut up (laughs) I went through not a bad but like I had, like, a bad interaction with, like, this guy, you could say it is my ex. Mm-hmm. And I just, like, I deleted his number. I deleted him off Instagram, off everything. Like, delete all the pictures I had of him, of all of that. And I ooh. was just like, ooh, that felt so good. So like, nice. you know what I, I mean? felt like, yeah, I don't sometimes you got to out of sight, out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so now all the time, like, I don't even be saving people numbers anymore. Because it's like, all right, I can just delete that conversation. Mm-hmm. Delete, delete, delete. I feel, I totally resonate with that because it's like, Sometimes you have people in your life, or like they'll just be around till you see them on Instagram. You see them, mm-hmm. you they're still a part of your life. They're still part of your mental, in your thoughts. Capacity. You thinking mm-hmm. about them. You manifesting them back into your life. Yeah. You manifesting mm-hmm. them texting you. You yeah. manifesting you texting them just because they're there. They're still there. They're still mm-hmm. around. So literally, I, I I respect that like purging and getting them out. Like no, yeah. you don't have any space here for me. Like you're not no. doing nothing for me. You nope. go that way. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. they can't control you or nothing on mm-hmm. you. Like None of that. it's lit. Yep. No, well, I'm queen block you. mommy. Yeah. So who I am, <laughs> I'll be like, oh, you're getting up in our block. <laughs> Please block. I don't. I don't want to talk to you. I see you in person. I'm walking right past you. Nah, because you're gonna make me come out of character. I don't want to do that. Facts. So facts. So, facts. Facts. I'm with I like it. That. Shout I'm, out to I'm that. I'm glad everybody purging. Meanwhile, I still got shit at my house. <laughs> RB, you definitely purged a good Why like last month. Yeah, dead ass. Last month you purged or something like that. Two months ago. You was cleaning out people. You was oh, cleaning out shit. the last time. Mm. But yeah, if, you, if you still got people shit at your house, throw that shit away. Dad. Oh, wait, no. Becky said don't touch other people's stuff. No, no, no. If it's in your space. It's in my you house. No, you it's in your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was talking oh. about in, in, if I go in your room and throw all your shit away. Because oh, like, she don't okay. need this. No, that's oh, yeah, <laughs> no, no, absolutely but no, no, no. No, if you got but exes if, shit, throw yeah. that shit away. Throw that shit away. She don't need that shit. She don't even need to come back to get that shit. Well, like, I mean, listen, hold up. Because there's a couple sweaters I have for my exes that I don't mind keeping. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, I have a, is yeah, that one that you have, have. On? No. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nah, this is actually like a dope ass brand that I found black owned. Yeah, I've, I've seen some of their stuff. Yeah, they're, they're super dope. Right. The organizer is one of my good friends. So, dope, dope. What's Listen. Up? Yeah, but no, I, I definitely have some of my trash. ex's books. Like, uh, yes, he yeah. had Are those good books? Yes. Do, do, you, do you feel like you need to throw those away? No, I don't. He got See? decoded okay. by Jay-Z. Wait, wait, oh, no, don't hey, 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 no, hey, no, 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 what? Panties, you could throw panties. Why away do you because... have panties at your crib? First of all, I ain't even say panties. <laughs> <laughs> what? But if I had someone's panties at my house, I'm pretty sure there's in the back of a drawer somewhere that I have a. Why do you throw that away? I feel like yeah, throw that away if they're not clean. Drawer. Yeah, because they're definitely not clean. Because you did, you brought did them you to wash the wash. Them? I mean, to the laundry. I don't bed. wash panties. So okay, throw that so away. Dirty throw that away. Panties. Throw that away. Crust, that, you know that. You, you know they crusty panties. by this time. Do you know whose panties those <gasps> are? Listen, I said <laughs> I don't even have somebody's panties in my house. I said no. if I were to have yeah, them, so you really I'm don't pretty know. sure this is what they this is where they would be. So like, that means you really don't know. You better check the back of the drawer. They could be in the back of your drawer. In the back of a closet under the bed. We all need to purge it. If it's panties and underwear, throw that shit away. Yeah. If, it's yeah. useful, if it's books and hoodies, books and hoodies keep. Everything mm. else, throw that shit away. No, I have some pants from a nigga I used to talk to, but I had to throw them away. Some were pants and headphones. Pants? No. <laughs> were they Nike tech? Like, are we throwing no, gifts? they were just so like regular man pants. Are we, like are we, a, are we putting the aside crunch. gifts? Oh, no, gifts are yours. Mean? Yeah, gifts, gifts like, are yours. Like throwing away gifts? Yeah. Absolutely not. What you mean? Gifts are mine. Yeah, what, did she gave it to you? I mean, if there's, I mean, but if there's negative reminders. energy attached to it, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, these I think are reminders it of the person. Like how it makes you feel. Yeah, that's yeah. a fact. Like that's part of the sure. ma- the maricondo. Yeah, mm-hmm. you gotta see. Yeah. It, does it spark no, joy? It you gotta hold the thing. Like, does this spark joy in me or like something else? If it's negativity, you gotta be like, you know, say yeah. thank right, you. So and I, throw that shit away. You know, you know, it's a good example. You know that portrait I got above my dresser. That of, of you, you? Yeah. yeah, of you, yeah, yeah. That's a that's an ex. Nah, gift. keep that. No, that's mm. fucking nah, fire. Does that, that make you feel good? What, when you what, does it make you feel bad? Nah, it doesn't make me feel bad. But sometimes I look at that shit. And it's you like, think of, you think of. <laughs> 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 like, uh, oh, you gotta let that go, my brother. You gotta let it go. Take a picture either, of it. Either either let the picture go All or just let go. the feelings go. No, either way, you don't take a and get rid of it. it the picture's fire. Can you pass me that picture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> either way, if you don't want the picture, I'll take it. The fuck. Nah, <laughs> All right, let's let like, you. Can you get her to get me one? <laughs> Listen, no, it's an ex for a reason. Oh, she okay. she she is uh, not applicable. Okay. Mm. All right, let's. Um, we're Not gonna take a, a quick friendship. break so we can do a word from our sponsors. But when we get back, we'll introduce our guests, even though we've been talking yeah, the entire we, we time. We literally Sorry, just had guys. a whole episode. <laughs> no, no, Sorry, it's guys. all good. It happens all the time. <laughs> we'll introduce our beautiful guest and we'll talk question of the week. All right. Yes. Bye, ho. BRB, bitch. All right, Yo. y'all. We are back. Um, we was talking hella shit during our little break. <laughs> <laughs> but we are back and we're gonna introduce our beautiful guest in the building from the Not For Sale podcast. Hi, guys. Hey, hey, hey. You guys wanna introduce yourselves? Hi, guys. You know it's your girl, Brie. Regular Brie. <laughs> What's good, guys? It's your girl Swaggy Z on the mic. Hey, lit. thank you guys so much for coming. Of course, I feel this like is, this is second family. Exactly, right. exactly, <laughs> exactly. We're we're a sister podcast. RB does Facts. um sponsors mm-hmm. your show as well. Yeah, oh, so you already know. And then we just like. Fam, bam, we're anyways. Fam. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, were you on the whole phase or on unwifeable? I, I was, was on unwifeable. Oh. Yeah, the old phase. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, but you back. For all of y'all that's been cool listening, Bree, Bree's been on before, yes. so. I love you, know, you guys. It's in the archives. <laughs> no, no, I had to come back. That was lit. Of course, of course. Lit. All right, so this week we're talking singleness, single and no mingle. Or you can mingle, whatever. Yeah, you can do um, whatever you want. <laughs> exactly. So the question of the week is, what is the best part about being single? So we're going to go around and chat. We got some answers on Instagram as yeah. well. Let me pull some of those up. Yeah. So who wants to start? What's the best part about being single? I'm going to start. You're going to start? Ooh, I'm going to start. My favorite part about being single is I can do whatever the fuck I want, when I want, and not be questioned about it. Mm. You know, like, I just really like my alone time. Like, even if I'm with somebody, like, I really like my space. She really do. I be outside yeah, her she door, be, like... She be, trying to be in my space 
<laughs> wow, bitch. Nah, I don't know. But yeah, I just, I just really like my alone time. Like, I like being around people too, but I feel like there needs to be a balance, you know? Yeah. So, so yeah. Uh, that's your, be- your favorite that's my part. Favorite part. And my favorite part is, you know, <laughs> I could talk to whoever I want without qu- consequences. Nice. <laughs> All right. What did you um, think, Bri? Um, My favorite part of being single is the, I guess, the in, the by myself, the time to work and the time and to piggyback off of that, talking to whoever I want. I can fuck whoever I want. Yes. And not really give a fuck. So that's my favorite part of being single. Anybody know when Amanda Shepard? Who? Somebody's calling in. Should we answer? Uh, no, 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 not yet. Let's oh, not go yet. around okay. first. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm like, bitch, you can't stop reading people's governments on the damn oh, thing. Oops. <laughs> on the podcast. It's okay. Well, my favorite part to, of being single, to piggyback off of what Bree said, is having that alone time with yourself, but being able to work on yourself. You know what I mean? Like, work on all the things that you want to do. If you want to be more disciplined, if you want to be more this, more that, if you want to travel more, like you can do that while you're single and then like bring that into a relationship. You don't have to wait to go on vacations. Like you can travel, you can mm-hmm. do all of those things that you always wanted to do. You can bring that into your life yeah. while you're single. And then hopefully when you're in a relationship, you might find someone to do, you know, who's more on that wavelength instead of just waiting mm-hmm. to be in a relationship to really be yourself. So that's how I feel like yeah. I've been working, been reading. I've been Ooh. like OD working on my finances. You know all these things. So like when I'm actually in a relationship, I'm going to Got be got your good. shit together. I have my shit yeah. all the way together. That's exactly why I appreciate being single yeah. right now because I'm also working on like moving out. Yes. I got new clients, so I can like fully divulge myself into that. Versus worrying about some niggas. Yes. Like, mm-hmm. Niggas are big ass distractions. Seriously, especially as like me, as my personality, like when I'm in a relationship, or just in general, like I'm really caring and I like to, I'm an empath. I like to help people out so much. So I think being single right now also is showing me like, bitch, you can do that for yourself. You gotta, you gotta lean it back. You can do that for yourself. You know what I mean? Like, you can nurture yourself. You can be like, ooh, what do you want? Like, I remember I used to text this nigga, like, every morning, like, good morning. You're going to do great. You're going to, like, have a great day. Slay the day, king. Yeah. And now I'm like. <laughs> what did he say back? He would say, you know, he would text or whatever. It wasn't uh, a, it wasn't really appreciated or whatever. Thank you. You know what I mean? Yeah, thank you. Good morning. Thanks. Have a good but, day. But, like, now That's I get so that. Dry. Yeah. That's but now so I do that to good. myself. What the, what the hell? Listen. As a nigga receiving a text like that in the morning, I gotta Shouldn't get up in the morning. Shouldn't that be a good thing though? Right? Yeah, that's motivation. Like you got a whole. It's nice. Like, I mean, it's nice. Nubian queen. It's hey, nice to. Hear, it's right? nice to hear. Have a wonderful you know, day, king. Like I believe uh, in you. I, feel like, I believe in you. Know, you, you know what like, we equate that shit to? You know when yeah. your mother sends you them them uh, <laughs> them, wow. gos- them gospel shits in the morning. <laughs> oh, so it's, so it's like a Bible wow. verse. It's annoying. That's what you're saying. It's not annoying. Yeah. It's a good, it's nah. a nice sentiment. Like, oh, so that's what you're saying. Uh, 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 nah, I don't, I don't like being compared words. to your mom. Yeah, right. like, you're, you're comparing me to a Bible verse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Nah. Okay. But that's why ever since I started doing that shit <laughs> we for myself. We know who not to send that <laughs> right? text. Right. right. Morning, but I right? If anybody's doing... listening. No, I'm going to send it back. I'm just going to send it back. We ain't sending shit back. You ain't sending it back. We're going to say it back. These are why you... These are why the dry conversations come come across because because I said an affirmation in the morning wow, that she wanted you to have a good day. Equate that to no, it's not. It's not about. <laughs> it's not about not wanting to have a good day. It's just about okay. <laughs> Thank you. Is it, is it more of a that's awkward exactly thing, like what you, you don't know what too. to say after? Yeah, more. I understand that guys are not the same way as us. Mm-hmm. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if you like that to a girl, obviously she would like it, but guys are not. She'll be like, yes, bitch, queen. I'll be like, you too, beautiful. I mean, I agree. I agree. Second, I agree. Different. Yeah. But I still feel like there's something that you can say in your own way to that, you know, isn't just the oh, thank you. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta find but, a dude that's gonna do that then. Yeah, Arby's not gonna do that. Mm, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I just yeah. wanna let y'all know. <laughs> y'all send that text message. It's early in the he's, morning. He's just send it to me. I would appreciate it. Yo, then, okay. yeah. Um, we're, not, we're not all out awake. It's very early in the morning. I mean, so you that. awake to respond. But no, but no funny. I mean, that's why I started. And, and, and you know what I mean? 
Not to call niggas dumb, but we, you know, y'all we, are not the y'all love creatures. No, of the y'all, y'all don't some, say that. A lot of us y'all are not. A shit. lot of us are not the brightest crayons in the box. I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit it. We're a y'all lot not, of us. That's aren't. an excuse. No, that's an excuse. <laughs> Thank you. Because a lot of bitches are dumb too. Facts. They are. But I'm saying so that's an shows? excuse. So what's your that's not like, people are dumb in general. I'm yeah. just saying it's <laughs> not always gonna match Especially up. Especially with that's working, true. I'm now where I have a part time <laughs> job at Equinox. People are stupid as fuck. So Yo. you can't really no, I make that excuse. Yeah. You feel me? Like <laughs> but just saying that. Thank you, Queen, and that's it. Yeah. Right. Thank, Thank you, Queen. Hope you have a nice but, day too. Right. I'm just saying Sentence. a lot of them aren't gonna be able to process that in in the amount of time that you want to receive that. I and then it. it's going to be true. like later on, That's oh, true. I probably should have took yeah. some sex, took but something back. That's I say that all to happen. say that instead of sending these niggas, these group texts, I mean, not just group texts. <laughs> <laughs> not group <laughs> texts. But these, these texts That's in the morning. That's a whole conversation. <laughs> but now, instead of that, I'm just doing that to myself. Like, bitch, you're going to have a great day. Like, yes. I look at in the mirror, you're going to have a great day. You're like, going to yes, slay queen. queen. Like, you're amazing. You know what I mean? So I'm like... Just bringing that all into my energy. Exactly. Like, you need this, bitch. Nurture yourself. What do you want? You want to go on a date? We gonna take go. Yourself. What you want? I you take want? myself you, out she, all the time. I was just about to say that. And do I've been you doing ever that for a while. Take yourself out on a date, like mm. go I've to done the it movies, twice. All the time. Yeah. I do it all the time. Out to eat or just something. I went. To, nah, I went to. Oh, really? I, I, want to, I would love to go to the movies by myself. I always I do that. By myself all you go time. to iPick. You go to the nice movie theater. You I started doing that when I was in high school. No, I just used to do that. Really? Nah, I take myself to go get sushi. That's what I do. Why? I do everything else, but not the movies. So you would go to a restaurant by yourself and sit down. I've done that before, too. I like that better than anything. It's relaxing. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I've never done the restaurant, but I've definitely done the movies. The fancy ones? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah, definitely a perk of movies. being single, single dates, doing whatever the hell you want. Right. Uh-huh. You don't, and you're, it's only paying for one person. Yeah, you only have so to pay for good. yourself. You ain't never lie. <laughs> <laughs> that that should be part. cheap. You don't got to worry about we lit. splitting it, if he going to pay. Yeah. Mm, no, no, no. But okay. it's, it's nice when you don't have to pay it too. But it it's is. okay. That's not what we're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Right. We're talking that's about okay. what you want to do. That's okay. Fuck these dates. You do know that. That's a whole other story. The part, exactly. You're going to have to pay for a lot of shit, your own shit. But it's. It's but it's okay. fun. But it's fun because you get it to be, that's, that's you get to even in your single mind you get to hang out with people and go out on dates and just have fun and just yeah. genuinely just have a connection with somebody. Yeah. Now right. they better pay for that meal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yeah. that that whole old like I'm single. Going to pay for this shit. meal. Because that that, just, mean, that that just crossed another. That's barrier. a whole. Now you just like though. this is why I'm single. Yeah. <laughs> that's, right. Right back. that's a whole other thing. What's your favorite part about being single? <sighs> Figuring out, not figuring out, but, like, I guess figuring out and enjoying what I like and don't like. Like I was saying earlier, like, I know myself and I know what I like, what I don't like, who I, like, the things in people and in life and whatever. And so it's just, like, now I know, like, when I, when I come across people, I'm, like, if you can't align with, like, the things that I like and I don't like, then I'm probably not going to like you. Like, it's not even going to be, like, oh, it's something I can overlook. Like, I'm, that's just how I am. Like, you know if I don't, Now you know Right, them. yeah. It's, like, if, like, if you're, do, like, if people, like, I can't like people I can't be around and be attracted to people that I don't like. Like I, you know, help girls can like like people for money or mm-hmm. go people because they have yeah, this. I can't, I can't do that. that. I like I can that, try, yeah. but I can't fake it, and I know that. You about already myself. told us about like, your face. Yeah, your, your facial, facial oh, yeah. expressions <laughs> are gonna show it. Imagine her sitting across from a nigga that she don't like. I just feel like she's gonna be looking at him like. Look at her face no, now. Zara, <laughs> Zara at the club <laughs> is priceless. Oh my god! Because <laughs> oh the niggas would be walking up to her, she'd be like. <laughs> no, it's not even no, that. It's the crazy. That it's thing. the things that niggas say, and it's mm. like you know, like you'll be at the club with your girlfriends, and a guy come in your ear, and then I'm just so then my four girlfriends are in front of me, and I'm just like, please, she's not oh, interested. No, no, help. No, no, no. <laughs> wait, okay, so wait, what are some things? Maybe like name one thing that you know that you like now, and one thing that you know for sure that you don't like. Like as far as like, dating. I don't like pushing men. I well, yeah, that. Um, totally I true. don't like people who I don't know how to explain it but like okay I'll give a good example I've never really been into like 
feeling like I need to spend money on like big brands like buying Gucci or having Prada, having all of this stuff, regardless of all of the backlash that they're getting. Like that was just never me. Mm-hmm. So I feel like like if I talk to somebody and they feel like that's like a big thing for them, like, oh, nah, I got to buy this or oh, nah, my shoes got to always be clean or oh, nah, I got to look like that. Like that's a turn off for me because okay, I'm okay. like, I don't really care like that. Like, of course, you want to look good. And of course, you know, you want to have all of this stuff. But like, I feel like I have my own swag and everybody who knows me knows that. Like, you know, I feel like I could spend anything that I get. So I feel like if somebody like a guy who feels like it's too much importance on that, like it's not really, like, that doesn't align it doesn't me. impress me. It doesn't do nothing for me. I see that. I could totally mm-hmm. see that. that was good. And what's something that you do like? <laughs> um, I do like when people let me be me. If that makes sense. Like, like accept it. Like, yeah, like, I feel like, okay, the, like, the last guy I dated, seriously, like, was, like, two years ago, and we would hang out and stuff, and he, I just appreciate the fact that, like, you know, he would, I could hit him up and be, like, on the fly, like, let's go to the beach, or let's go <laughs> to this museum, or let's go do something like that. Like, I'm real spontaneous like that, and I appreciate the fact when guy people be like, all right, cool, like, you know, let, 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 let her do her, and, like, you know, just appreciate that she wants to share this with me or something like that. That's tough. I like that. Yeah, yeah I like that. All right, Arby, what is your favorite part about being single? He's not. Or sorry. He's what, not. What was your favorite part about being single? You're right. You're right. He's not single. What was your favorite part about showed on, th- on Valentine's Day that and he then was pull not up, And then pull yeah, up the archives. Pull up the archives. Like, like, it wasn't see. just one picture. It was numerous It was like a, the whole weekend. Like a whole were, they like, were they looking tough? Because that should be driving me crazy. Oh, God. I feel you. I love that shit. Come on, my nigga. Like, I'm about to get off Instagram for the day. Did you lose followers? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What was your favorite part about being single? Um. It's been so long. <laughs> like, no. been wow. like... The, the, the adventures, honestly. Mm. Really. Like, where where is that, you know, I can stay out as late as I want and mm-hmm. not give a fuck. Not mm-hmm. have a kid in the will. Oh, you want to go this place? All right, we go on this place. Oh, she live in Harlem? Okay. <laughs> oh, you was doing all that? <laughs> you know when you're single, you don't give a fuck. That's I was in, the, Bron- that is, I was in the Bronx. Ooh. I was in the Bronx too much. Why? Are you I was in the Bronx. <laughs> the Bronx? The Bronx. The Bronx. <laughs> I used to find myself <laughs> out there. Yikes. I'm telling you, no, there's bomb dick in the Bronx. There is. <laughs> and there's no fire. There's fire pussy in the Bronx. There's gotta be. Fire. I, gotta be. I, I've dated somebody fire. in the Bronx. So yeah, I've dated somebody in the Bronx. Get it, but that's too fucking It's far. a lot. It's just, from Brooklyn, that's a little too far. I don't yeah. know about all that. From Queens, it's, you, it's, it's close, Queens is but closer. it's, it's like, yeah, it's two yeah. trains if you want to take the train. If Wait, you drive, it's like, <laughs> when I was talking to someone in the Bronx, I was taking the train, Okay. God. Yeah, but you're yeah. from Queens. It wasn't. Yeah, how wasn't, far was it? Wasn't it like an hour? It's like if that an hour and a half, maybe. Oh, oh no, that's, that's two that's miles. A that's long distance. It was. Yeah, it was. Too, yeah, that's but a long distance. That's that Pennsylvania. <laughs> like if you, that's Philly. Oh, no, no funny. No that's funny. Same that's time funny, to get to Philly. That's, that's going that's to Connecticut fact. or Jersey. That's going to Jersey. Just to stay in New York City. It was an hour. Okay. No, it was better. No, it wasn't. It still a lot. I just feel like is is something. uh liberating about looking at somebody and being like, hmm, I think I'm going to stand over there now. What? You what? Mean? What? What, is, what does that mean? Like, like at I, the Aladdin whether, party? Whether you see somebody at a function or whether you see somebody... I'm like, we don't speak boy. Like, yeah, I'm like, what? We're, we got to communicate that like, what? That's what we do. Nah. <laughs> yeah, we just give you eye contact like... Yeah, you know I like him. <laughs> right? Nah, it's like um, in, in any like room or any type of like collective where it's just like you see somebody attractive and then all of a sudden you could just spark up a conversation. You'd be like, okay, so you mean you go, you move closer to them so you can start talking to them? Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you move closer to them. That's you know, your favorite. I creepy. feel like. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. No, I, I respect it. It's not it. creepy it to just, move it close to someone creepy. you want to spark a conversation you, look, with. It is that's creepy. It's like, creepy. If when, you don't get, if you don't get right, an introduction, it is, like say. you stare, like that's, it is, yeah, that's it's creepy. It's not really a stare. That's very not, creepy. Not even just a stare, no, but it's creepy I don't trust that. if you just hang no. around yeah. and not really work and yeah. wait yeah. to say just, something. Yeah. Who, 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 okay, when you get we're not saying you, though, but we're just saying, like. When you get closer, what do you do? Yeah. Like, do you go up to them? Do you whisper in the air, like, yo, my. <laughs> it was good. I saw you. You saw me. I yeah, did like I? That that that's why I said that's a little creepy. You know I'm why it's actually creepy? You. Because women 
as even though we may not look like it, we peep everything. Fact. We mm-hmm. peep every nigga Fact. from when we walked like, in. We, we probably we peep every you, bitch since we walked in. Like, so we most seen you. We peep right, you when you walked exactly. in. Right. Yeah, so we like, then, okay, we seen this nigga. He could be like, oh, look, this nigga. Or this nigga trying to come over here. This nigga trying to be close. You can tell when, like, <laughs> even if it's from afar, you can just tell, like, oh, damn, this nigga's going to come talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. whether you want to or and not, like, you can just tell. The and, just, and then if you just add. Yeah, why do they have the most confidence? And then What's if you add about? the hovering the on top of that. We've had to work. <laughs> <laughs> RB, you're not we ugly. You feel, RB, had you feel to work. Yeah, Listen, you're not ugly. You're I not didn't you. always have this glow up. We. <laughs> I didn't always look this good. We have had to work where these pretty niggas have not. Okay. They just have to bat their little light skin eyes, and they're like, right? oh. and then girls come up to them. They don't even have to go up to girls. The pretty oh, niggas. Oh no, I've never done that. Yeah. You never you know shot I mean? your shot. Mm mm. Why not? We gotta make we gotta make I y'all have, laugh. I have, but not to the hottest guy in the <laughs> room. Shot your shot, like in terms of like if you've you seen have a dude, to, huh? seen a dude. Oh, absolutely! I just yeah. recently shot my shot, <laughs> and he dumped me because I was too young for him. That <laughs> happened to me too. I was like, but yeah, I was but like, you know, like young bitches. Podcast. I heard him talk about me. Oh, yeah, that's so you ain't that young. Like, yeah, you ain't that young. Ooh. Come get this work. Hey. You don't need to be in a relationship. We okay, just shoot your shoot your shot again. We gotta be smart. We gotta be funny. We gotta be sweet, but not too sweet to the point where it's just like, uh, he's he's nice. Yeah, like don't be creepy. He's nice. I'm just gonna. He's he's my friend. All we he's ask nice. is do not be creepy. Like that's every it. nigga's right. creepy. No, no, every, every nigga, nigga is, is not creepy. Every not. creepy niggas are creepy. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> have you seen? Have you seen? Uh, that Netflix show called You. You yes. yes. Wait, that is every nigga no. in his head. That is Don't every, tell me that because that I will never talk to another nigga ever. Right. Yeah, I'm going to be like, I already have like listen, reservations listen, about like, like niggas I will now. Like, listen like, to like, me. Like, I, I, will, listen, I will become a whole lesbian. Just, so y'all are all murderers like, is nah, what you're listen. telling me? Yeah. Right. They're all murderers. And stalkers. Don't take it that literal. You said. You said. All right, let's see what you got to say. Okay, now though, now every, now every non-murderous, okay, Creepy, creepy uh, <laughs> thought in his head. Every nigga has had at least once thinking about a girl that he's attracted to. Now, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah, the worst. Some dudes know themselves better than others, so they know how to operate that creepness and to turn it into swag or turn it into. <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh-uh. So swag, your swag comes turn, from being a creep. It into, no, but I'll turn it into okay. something friendly. No, but we know yeah. what a swaggy creep is. Yeah. Too. We know yeah. all the creeps. But no Older funny, guys. No funny what I... I Everyone I, over I the age of 35. Say. I do think there's a fine <laughs> yeah, line a between like creep and like swag. It all has to do with like if the girl's interested in you. That's if, a fact. Like if, a if we're interested in you, then it's just like, okay, that's kind of cute. He's trying to be funny while he likes me so much. He's trying to do this. I still feel like there's a a, I still feel like like, it's funny. Yeah, it's a great example. My brain is the filter, right? My mouth is the filter, right? Okay. So it's just your mouth is definitely not a filter, but (laughs) relax. So it's like, so it's like, damn, she bad. Damn, I wanna know how she look with them clothes off. Damn, I wanna fuck. Damn, 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 damn. I should probably say something like, "Hi, how are you doing?" That's very mm. disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> disturbing. Why didn't God have that? Okay, so that is the PG <laughs> version of how that process that should go. Work. Yeah. How it actually goes is not as PG as you just said. Because uh-huh. not every guy knows himself enough no, to be like, not no. even that. I, I, I think it's like what she was, what Becky was saying earlier. It's like, you know, guys just right. kind of go off of how the girl is responding. Like, they might say something outlandish and then... If she's responding to it, it's like, all right, cool. I might be able to keep it going. If Sometimes you say something outlandish lands. and then it's like, she's not feeling it. I was like, all right, let me dial it back. I feel, I feel why like, did it land? Why, why I feel like that's some, I feel like, like yeah, that's you're environmental. Cute, but homie, you can't get by that. Because some some like, girls, it's just different. different. They may not have never had attention. Maybe yeah, that's the that, type of attention yeah. that they like. Well, I, or they I think, think that's, that's what guy, they think that, you know, letting guys say that to them is what they should be, should be desirable I don't know it's yeah. a lot of things I think yeah. it's people mistake like attention for like affection or like mm-hmm. even intention you know what I mean like yes. you, they're, yes. just, they're just here talking to you that alone makes you feel good like, I know when I was younger like if I went to a college party and 
all like more than three guys tried to talk. Yo, to I me. thought I was it lit matter. that night. It don't matter who the niggas was. It don't matter if they look good. I thought it's I was just, lit. Like, I got attention. Like I'm here and like wow, I'm I'm getting attention. It don't matter what caliber these niggas are if they do this to every girl. You know what I mean? So I feel like as I've gotten older, my filter or my understanding of that has has changed. Where it's like, dang. You can't even be like, dang, why do we accept that? It's just like, well, I'm not accepting that no more. Yeah. Like, I think the other thing on some creepy shit, it's just like. So I think the other thing, too, to piggyback off of that is like, because I still, that's still, no. I think even now, as a, as a grown woman, I still think that, you know, when guys <laughs> talk to you, approach you, it still makes you feel good. It's just a matter of, How? we know now that I know that oh, that's all fluff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you saying that, that's cool. You could keep talking. Yeah, because you still want to fuck. You know what I mean? But like, day, what are you really, but what are you really saying? That's the goal. Right, exactly. Especially if, so it, you're if we're in the club and it's like 3 a.m., everybody's about to leave. Like, oh, you're what? trying to fuck. Oh, no. My friend, now you want to talk college. to me. Now I'm so beautiful. Right. Like, you were staring at me. Dead now it's like, oh, you dead waited dead all night to you, right. you pulled up. You you walked closer to me about two hours ago. And right. now at 3 a.m., <laughs> right. now I'm the good mother. My freshman year of college. That's why that conversation has to be start in the middle at the climax of the party. At the end. He's just like, hey, remember me? remember no. me? You remember me? <laughs> remember my, yeah. my freshman year. I remember you didn't year, buy me a drink. Yeah, that's what I remember. My freshman year, RA <laughs> told me you can't <laughs> find love in the club. And ever since then, any time a new tried to talk to me while we in a club, in a party, I already know, like, all right, you... Some, this is what you're You're not about to follow, fall in love with me. Like, you... <laughs> first of all, it's, it's, first of all, it's mad loud. <laughs> <laughs> and it's is dark. That your excuse that you're really going with right now that it's too loud. And I feel like you, I'm I'm saying that <laughs> based off. Like, I'm, I'm saying ba- make sure. I'm saying that based off the assumption <laughs> that nothing really substantial, I guess, can really come out of meeting somebody in the club. But you can't really talk. You know what I mean? Yes, I feel like can. that doesn't yeah, matter because I feel like regardless of where you are. And you feel like if you see a young woman that you think is like you, for whatever reason, you're just attracted to her, you can get to know, you can find a way to approach her in the club to you get to know her out outside of that place. Yeah, you can So find I feel out. like it being loud don't really have nothing to do with it. You can definitely find out about a chick in less than three minutes. Like, or you can even be. I like. There's I appreciate no the fact we're because like, I found out about chicks in less than three minutes. I can. Ab- I'm able to determine what type of chick. You ask the right question. Or yeah. I appreciate the fact when guys sure, come maybe. up to me and be like, you know, I'm like, um, I don't want to talk to you right now, but like, if we run into each other later, like X, Y, and Z, or like, you know, I might see you. Like, can I see you again? Something like that. They it's like, all right, you know, it's, what? <laughs> they put the bag on. No, it's not being a bag on layaway. It's yeah, giving. So it's letting me know that you actually want to see me outside of this setting like mm-hmm. you don't just find me attractive just because we in the club it's like oh shit let me see what she like that's outside cool. of here that's, that's smart cool. yeah. though that is really now, smart that's, that, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's still gonna substantiate into something but it's like alright cool like you at least were nice enough or kind enough you know to say like let's get out of this sexual setting and mm-hmm. go find out more about each other yeah. so, I listen, think that, that's somebody who's aware I'm that right. this is of the environment <laughs> you know what I mean I made out with people in the club. <laughs> Same. First oh, time. God. I done took, peop- I done first, took people the, the home from the time club. The first time you met them, you've hung, like, made out with them inside yeah. the club? What? You know how I many times really? that has happened? That happened to me like once. In my adult in life? Though. It happened to me twice. That's never happened It's to never me. happened to me. You never don't you never, do it never, in the club. Don't do it because like, do like, then you see them outside the club, like when y'all go out for the smoke break, and then you look at him and you're just like, "Oh, hot, you're hot not damn. as cute as I thought." Well, you were. Oh, the only time it may have happened if it was like somebody that I already like was fucking with, or, or okay, like, okay, and then, you, and then y'all, like, y'all like, just like, happen like, to be like, out with yeah. party in the club, like that. You came into the club. No, no, no. But I'm saying like you know like if I was at school or something, it's like somebody I might have liked. We might have been flirting a little bit. Then it's like, oh, we in this party. Then I'm about to start kissing you or something like that. But it's never been like a total like random stranger. The Got some bad. Nah. The first time <laughs> Boom. I don't even know how that shit happened, honestly. But it, it was fun. <laughs> So, uh, all these single adventures. These are the this I is the wish. shit that you can do when you're single. I exactly. Was single. Or if you're Tristan Thompson. <laughs> Boy, don't even start that shit. Shots don't fired. even start nice that segue. shit, bro. Nice I, oh my god. Oh man. Are we talking about that or are we gonna can save we it for please? the after show? We can we can save it. We're gonna um do the after show and we'll talk more about we'll take, the, about we'll the talk more topics. foolishness and we'll about take some questions and yeah. stuff yeah. Like, and call I'm it. For it. Yeah, oh so my god. Do that. Because what the fuck was that? I feel like we need so many. I got so many on different that. perspectives oh, god. on that. Yeah, uh, that whole situation is just crazy. All right, like, so let's wrap this up. Let please let everybody know where they can find you. Uh, let all them that know good about stuff. not for sale yes. too. Yes. Yes. Please, please, please. So, Zara, you got this? 
Or you, you um, want me to do it? Nah, let me... you do that. All right, cool. Have fun. Um, me and Bree, we are hosts of the Not For Sale podcast, Not For Sale pod on Instagram, on Facebook. We're streaming on Apple Music, not Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, Anchor. Um, Everywhere podcast. YouTube is about to be coming up soon. Anywhere um, you can find us at Not For Sale, Not For Sale podcast, all of that. Yeah, we just come and talk about music topics. We talk about pop culture. We talk about what we deal with. Like recently, like I've lost a lot of weight recently, and now the attention is just a little. Like, <laughs> yo, y'all need, like, y'all need to relax. Like, she's in, she's been fat. consulting like, me bro, on what like, this I was, life is like. Like. <laughs> <laughs> like my jeans are a size eight now. I'm just like, yo, bro. You're this like is single weird. digits. This is fuck? weird. And then the tension that I get from white men and black men is very Ooh. weird now. It's just like mm. okay. that's a whole other topic. Yeah, bro. Like I don't know, but I still got the like the big girl mentality. Like yo, bro. Like chill, like, uh-huh. you be all right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so we just talk about everything. We'll talk about millennial it. black girl life. I That's be talking dope. shit on there too, man. That's nice. dope. But we, we want you to come on the show. Listen anytime. Let yeah. us know. Pull up, and Let's then we are, we're in a new studio now, so we're in my house. Yes, I was so about yeah. to say. I was gonna say congratulations yes, on the thing. Yes. Yes. it looks bomb as fuck. That's too. a big we black girl that. team. Listen, we built it too. from we, the ground up. I'm so, literally, literally so, so proud of you guys. So, yeah, thank you. Such so, an inspiration yeah. of like taking things come. into your own hands. Yeah, Thanks. absolutely. Because I'm tired of giving everybody else my money to make my dream come true. <laughs> so I would rather just control that shit myself and be able to like fester and make a machine myself, and then possibly go Thanks. out and venture out. And Plus, see. like, no, so amazing. I would, like it's just great to know that we can learn how to do this shit ourselves. Yeah. We don't have to rely yeah. on nobody else. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So we yeah. go into bigger, better spaces. Like, no, I know how to do this. I know yes. how to work all the computers. Yeah. I know how to work the controls. I know mm-hmm. how to do all of that. That's, That's amazing. That's amazing. But yeah. Yes. Come by. Please. Absolutely. Yes, we Wait, will. I want to, I, I never asked. So how did you guys come up with the name Not For Sale Podcast? Like, what does that mean? So mm. I was listening to Smoke Diz's last project called Not For, I feel like it was called Not For Sale. And he was just talking about the fact that like, all the big execs and all the big companies always go to us millennials to figure out like what's hot next and what we can what's next the next marketable stage or who's the biggest artist like they always go to the millennials and it's always seemed as though it's never a even kind of mm, field it's always even like yeah it's always like we give you the ideas, you take it and run with it and never give it back mm. to us and or sell never, it back to like us. sell it back to us. Mm. So this is our kind of version of we can say what we want, we can do what we want, we can like voice our opinion on our topics versus going on somebody else's platform and doing it. That's so. amazing. Yes. I'm so here for yes. the movement. Like, I love it. And I feel like the making your own studio was another step in that. Like, we're not for sale. We're doing our own. <laughs> I did Yo, the installation in my either, own crib. Okay? I did the installation, me and my dad, because my dad is a construction worker. That's He's amazing. been able to, like, fester and help me out with certain things. So, like, doing the installation, we got to put the sheetrock up for next week and just do, like, little little things inside the studio to make it feel a little bit more homier. Mm-hmm. I'm also working on moving out, so by the time that's done, I'll also be moved out, so then that space will let us up to that being an actual room room. So. Wow. Yeah. Listen, we're yes. so, so, so proud No. no. See, that's, that's where your mind goes. That, that's where your wow. mind goes. This um, is why you can't. You, you can't. You got to chill. Anyways. I'm always invited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, no, thank you guys so much of for coming. Course, this of is course, of so course. We're gonna You're keep fam. talking our this shit. This is family. We're gonna right, keep talking yes. our shit on the after of show. Course. But thank you guys so much for listening and watching on yes. YouTube. We fucking appreciate y'all. Yeah, you know, click that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you get all the notifications when we drop videos. Y'all can follow us on Instagram <laughs> at the. They're Ho- still calling. It's okay. We're going to take the calls. We're going to take them calls real bit, quick. In a little <laughs> bit. But yeah, you guys can follow us on Instagram at the whole phase. On Instagram at the whole phase memes. We just passed 3,000 followers. Y'all going in. Ooh, yeah, I, y'all, we y'all love y'all. Going. Y'all like the meme page a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we fuck with y'all. Um, and you guys can also follow us on Twitter at the whole phase. And as I was saying, YouTube, you can follow us at Sirens NYC. S I R E N S N Y C. Subscribe, motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. And don't forget to check it's out sucks. our Patreon where you can support your fave hoes. It is patreon.com slash the hoe phase where our after show is available for all our patrons. 
eggs. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And don't forget, we got bracelets. We got merch for sale. Which, incidentally, right I do want a bracelet. Ooh. Catch I you. kept seeing on Instagram. I'm like, yo, I really have to hit them up and ask them about yes, a bracelet. Yes, we got you. I feel like it's my communion. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, about our little baptism whole face bracelets. You um, you get, too. Yes, bitch. Always. Um, you guys can um, click the link in our bio on Instagram and you can get a whole face bracelet. They have some that say ho, some that say whole face. Please support us. We fucking yes. appreciate you. Rep thank your you. favorite ho. Yes, thank you for everyone who's bought one so far. We so, so, so appreciate you guys. Um, we're also going to be hosting... Sorry, we're also going to be on a guest panel for the Sisters Social on March 10th for Melanin NYC. Shout out to my sis mm. Shad for putting us on the panel. Yes. Um, yeah, we're going to be, be talking about taking up space as black women. We ain't, we ain't minimalizing ourselves. Nope. We taking mm. up mm. hella space. All right? <laughs> so check all of that information in our bio. You can follow me on Instagram at Everybody Loves Becky. Ew. And you can follow me, Queen Thirst Trap, at MJ Smokes MJ. <laughs> All right. And you finally, <laughs> <laughs> you can you follow your boy RB at Punchline Punch Drinks. Today we were sipping that Apple Loose. If you would like some, hit me on the page and place an order. Okay. It's lit. See y'all on the after show, motherfucker. <laughs>